persona poems um, that, that, you know, they have to do, is that part of, like you mentioned in class, the portfolios, which um, their collection? The final, in? their final portfolios I include, you know, in this particular class, a craft class, they have to try each of the new forms introduced to them. Um, in other classes, you know, like the 407 or 207, they get to choose their own work. Um, and some of them have to be forms. You know, then they can write half of those are forms because I think it's important that every poet write in form, even if they're not a formalist. At least, you know, when they break the rules, they know what they're breaking. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, and, you know, I think it teaches you a kind of discipline to write in form mm -hmm. as well. Um, so it's important for me for them to to try it on. Mm -hmm. um, and then the more advanced they are, the more research is involved in the kind of personas they're writing. Instead of just pulling, being a fly on the wall, you know, it's, you know, imagine, you know, you're the tongue in, Thomas, in, in uh, George Washington's mouth and you're talking about these new dentures he has and the teeth were pulled from his slaves. What do you have to say? It's like, wow, what, that's all new information. Mm -hmm. And what do I do with that? You know, so I've, it's, it opens up the, uh, a new world for them as poets, I believe. Um, and they get it. They, they see the importance of it um, and the significance of, of research. Uh, and it makes sense to me that, you know, that what happens in the classroom uh, is connected to what I'm doing on the page as a professional. Um, and when I'm teaching workshops around the country, the things I'm writing about are not disconnected from what I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. 